Thank you for taking the time to learn the permanent solution to reduce anxiety, overcome depression, and simply become the best version of yourself. For most people, medications and therapy seem to be the only options for managing anxiety, depression, panic attacks, and other mental health concerns. But I am here to educate the world that medications aren't a permanent solution. And the option everyone is looking for is neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity is the ability to change your brain. Every day, your brain is either growing or shrinking. But over time, without intentional effort, it will continue to shrink, which will only continue to make your problems worse. When I was succumbed by anxiety, depression, and panic attacks while working in the ER during the pandemic, even as a nurse, I didn't know how to fix my problem, but I learned, and I am honored to educate the world. 90% of your day is taken in subconsciously. Through this process, subconscious stories are created that continue to feed your overall thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. When you have childhood trauma, unprocessed painful situations, or unexpected stressful events like a pandemic, your brain gets stuck in a fixed mindset and stops growing or thriving. It becomes hypervigilant on trying to keep you alive. It hones in on the fear in your life because you trained your brain to look for it. It's been programmed that nothing is safe. This causes your nervous system to become emotionally dysregulated. These situations reprogrammed your brain to find the fear in the world, so it alerts you to run, hide, or overthink when it perceives danger. But the danger may simply be thoughts, perceptions, or ideas you've created in your mind. More often than not, they are not real at all. They are stored in your subconscious mind where you have created these stories and you do not consciously know that they are there. They are simply trying to keep you safe from what you have told it to be afraid of. When you have ingrained your mind, brain, and body to hold the core emotion of fear, you can start to see it everywhere, even if it's not real. This hyper-focus on fear can create stories that are not even related to the original situations. You will create stories in your mind that will perpetuate these ideas of fear because this is what your mind, brain, and body have deemed comfortable. Becoming uncomfortable is the action necessary to heal. As Dr. Dispensa says, it is like salmon swimming up river. It takes effort. It is an intentional process to rewire how your brain views the world so you can heal from your past and consciously choose to calm your nervous system so you can learn to live with a peace of mind. Fear is unsustainable. It will cause emotional adrenaline crashes and activate the chronic stress response throughout your body. This is when people start noticing physical symptoms in their health. People think they started in the body, but in reality, they started in the mind. The prolonged mental stress causes the physical body to respond with an overproduction of inflammatory cells or cortisol and can wreak havoc on the body. As a previous ER nurse, if you had a mass on your arm, you would come and get it assessed. But people don't know what to look for in regards to a dysregulated brain. So it all goes undealt with. And over time, it continues to get worse. You may start having heart palpitations, chest pain, abdominal pain, panic attacks, or even fainting spells. But it doesn't have to be like this. You can change it, all of it. And it's time to do just that. You know why? Because if you don't learn to take back control of your mind, it will take over control of you. Your problems will escalate. Your emotional dysregulation will continue. And you will end up stuck wondering, what happened to me? 
that is my story. While working in the ER during the pandemic, I was succumbed by anxiety, depression, and panic attacks. For two and a half years, I spiraled my thoughts, feelings, and behaviors so far out of control, it was like I lit my brain on fire. I couldn't cope with any type of stress. I was so emotionally dysregulated that my whole mind, brain, and body were overwhelmed. And I constantly thought I didn't want to live anymore. All because I was stuck in fear, negativity, unable to process emotions, work through the pain of my past, and control my mind with emotional intelligence. I lived in a constant state of emotional dysregulation that my whole life was falling apart right before my eyes, and I didn't know how to stop it. My unhealthy mind accompanied my unhealthy body. I had stomach pains, constipation, ringing in my ears, feelings of a lump in my throat, and I started having an allergic reaction to food that allergy tests couldn't explain. My mind spiraled my life out of control, but I had to take it back. When I learned I could grow my brain to be stronger, wiser, and more resilient, I knew it was the option. I was looking for. I had times in my life of feeling happy, grateful, and thinking it couldn't be any better than this. I was clowning around Haiti and Nicaragua with the real Patch Adams and volunteering throughout the world. But then it changed, and I wondered, what happened? How did I end up never feeling happy? Why do I not find joy in activities that once brought me joy? I started to fear flying, even though I had traveled to 36 countries. The answer? Neuroplasticity. I changed my brain negatively. I had to change it back. I had to repave the cracks in my brain that had broken apart. And I had to create new roads that never existed. It was the only option to permanently reduce my anxiety, overcome my depression, and return to the ER to provide for my family. All I ever wanted was to be stronger, wiser, and more resilient. But even as an ER nurse, I didn't know how to fix my problem. So when I healed... I was determined to educate the world on exactly how to do it. All I did was spiral myself into deep depression and suicidal thoughts where nobody should be. I am a testament that no matter what you're going through, you can conquer it. You just have to use the right strategies. As Dr. Nicole LaPera says, there's nothing inherently wrong with you. You just have to learn to self-regulate, process your past, and learn to manage stress effectively. And with the use of neuroplasticity, any life you imagine can be yours. You can reprogram your brain to finally take back control of your life. So how do you do this? Well, honestly was simply a pen and paper. No, I'm not talking about journaling. I'm talking about NeuroScribe. NeuroScribe is a specific type of writing that puts your brain on paper. It allows you to tap into your subconscious mind and look at the big picture of your life so that you can finally see how your life subconsciously unfolded. You can find the root cause of your pain and change the stories so that your life is no longer running on autopilot, but how you consciously want to shape it. Neuroscribe combined with a systematic daily five-step process guides you with a strategic questions that facilitate diving deep into your subconscious mind and allows you to work through your past to change your life. This process allows you to stop relying on therapists or anyone else for that matter because it simply requires you, a pen, and paper. 
You can take back your life because you are worthy and you are enough. When you think about neuroplasticity, I want you to think about the baby elephant. A baby elephant can be chained up and taught that the only area it can move is anywhere the chains allow. Over time, if the baby elephant is constantly told these stories, it will believe them. Even though we know elephants can push over cars, but it will never see that side of itself because it's been told otherwise for far too long. It has been fed stories of being weak and inadequate and not enough, and it believes them. This keeps the baby elephant stuck in this thinking because it doesn't know any different. But we all know the truth. The elephant can be strong, intelligent, and capable of great things. This is the same for us. Don't let the circumstances of your life limit your abilities. You are stronger, wiser, and more resilient than you ever imagined. You are capable of endless possibilities in life. But due to like emotionally immature caregivers, unfortunate traumas, or pandemics, you've been conditioned to believe you aren't good enough. You are weak. You are scared. And you aren't capable of anything more. But it's simply not true. And with the right strategies, you can get your life back on track and become anything you want to be. You can become the warrior you are. You just have to transition from a fixed mindset to a growth mindset so that you start tackling the problems that come your way rather than being succumbed by them. This is how you become stronger, wiser, and more resilient than you ever imagined. I may not have known how to do this for two and a half years and spiraled my brain into suicidal thoughts. But I am here to save you the pain and suffering of continuing to shrink your brain because no one should live like that. You only have one life to live. And the only regret you are going to have when you get started is that you didn't start sooner. You just have to take one step forward a day. And each step only requires 10 minutes while following these guided videos. You can still live your best life. You just have to get started and believe it too. Are you ready? It's time to grow your brain. You deserve it. You got this. I'm rooting you on every step of the way.